Welcome back to Paul some more and today is the second instalment of Clear Ice Making. So uh, I've frozen this uh, ice in this little Coleman uh, cool box. I think it's six litres is the capacity. Uh, the idea is to make cool ice that the water freezes from the top down. So take the lid off uh, and it freezes down. The impurities sort of sink down into the bottom and you're left with uh, a good wedge of clear ice at the top. Uh, I'm going to tip it out in a second. Um, I'll probably put it in the bowl because I'm expecting the bottom half of it not to be frozen, so it could get a bit damp. So I've actually turned it over into just a washing up bowl that I have cleaned carefully. Um, and uh, just a top tip before you do that, it's best to leave it um, out of the freezer, probably for 15 minutes, something like that. And indeed when you're using clear ice, uh, best again, before you put it into drinks, to leave it out for a bit. It allows the outside of it to sort of clear. Um, and it means that when you do pour other drinks on top of it, it doesn't shatter uh, and spoil the appearance. Anyway, let's see if this one's going to come out of here and what we've got. So, okay, yeah, come out nice and easy. That's the difference to uh, leaving it for a few minutes. And then we've got the bot in there, you can see, um, sort of frozen and not frozen ice. So, just to tack the top of it with the trusty rolling pin and break some of the bits off. It's not a delicate process. So yeah, I have to make sure that it's, it's like a swimming pool or something in here. Anyway, we get most of that ice off. And what we're left with is a chunk of ice like that, which you can see is beautifully clear. So we can uh, dispense with lots of the other sort of uh, bits there. Carol's chip this off the edge so we've got a nice solid piece going most of the way around. And then we can attack it and sort of knock it into lumps, etc. So let's get out of the there and stick the ice on the old board here. And see what we've got to work with. So the way I've done this and works best for me is to get it so uh, put it onto a tea towel or something like that so it slip about. Uh, and then to actually break it up, best to use serrated bread knife. And what you can actually do if you put the sort of flat side up, just go across it where you think you want the sort of size of um, cube roughly. You're not trying to cut through it as such. Um, so just do a little bit of a, a sort of scar across the top. And then you can use a rolling pin or hammer, whatever you like. And it should just where you've been slicing across. So now we've got a more manageable chunk which we can sort of break down further into ice cubes. So you should be able to go across with the bread knife. Just to start it off and I suppose uh, then you can just give it a whack and it doesn't always break perfectly but you'll end up with perfect clear ice. So another great big wedge there that we can use for our cocktails, etc. <clears throat> so you can just work your way through, cut up into whatever size chunks you like. Uh, probably going to break those down a little bit more. Um, obviously, you can do different sort of shapes and sizes depending on what sort of drinks you're doing. Um, it's a bit potluck, I suppose, as to what you get at the end of the day in terms of shapes and sizes, but it is beautifully clear ice. There we go. Split those down a bit further, and you can see. Nice chunk of ice. And that's how you do it. 